Welcome to this week in agribusiness. I know some of you longtime viewers are saying, wait a minute, what's this guy doing here? Well, Mike Pearson will be along a little bit later on. No, he's not in Washington pushing his resume through there, as many are, of course, with a big change in government taking place, a lot of key posts to be filled, a lot of things to report on here over the next few weeks, but Mike will be along momentarily. It's time for our agronomy for your acre segment brought to you by Nutrien Ag Solutions. And Jamie Seedorf is visiting with us this weekend from Bismarck. Jamie, how are you? Doing good. How about you, Max? Just great. Thank you. I have it by reliable sources that you've taken kind of an interesting path into your work as a crop consultant with Nutrien Ag Solutions. Tell me about that. Yeah, that I have. I, uh, I actually started out going to school for law enforcement and was a prison guard for almost six years before uh, deciding I needed something a, a little bit different with kids on the way and a little bit of a schedule change. So I ended up coming to work for Nutrien in the warehouse and getting a CDL and uh, just kind of kept going from there. I worked through some of the safety stuff at our location. I was in charge of ordering some products for a while as far as inventory management goes. And then that just kind of kept progressing. I was given our Echelon platform and told to figure out how to use it. So I just kept growing it from there. And then they've eventually moved me into a sales role where I've kind of picked and chosen different things to focus on and dive into and Look, look at the, the different things that aren't being done that could be done to do things better. I'm sure you must like the change of landscape and the clientele you get to work with. Wonderful people in agriculture, to be sure. I'll, I'll tell you what, everybody's a lot nicer. Yeah, I can imagine. What are the tools and technologies that you have at Nutrient Ag Solutions that especially have helped you make this transition into the, your role of crop consultant? First, it's been the people, the people I, I work with. Uh, if it weren't for them, I wouldn't have had any of the opportunities that they've uh, they've given me and pushed me and allowed me to explore and kind of do on my own. Second, from there, we've, uh, like I said, I was given the Echelon platform. And from there, I was able to dive into the, uh, the precision agriculture side of things with soil testing and um, variable rate maps and whatnot. And a little more recently, they've got this stat tool that allows us to evaluate soils and what they uh, what they kind of look like and what's going on and how things are interacting with one another to allow us to make a, a more sound agronomical decision on what we should apply on what acre. Is that the soil calculator that I've heard about, Jamie? Is that what you're speaking that of? That is. That would be it. How does that work? Explain a little bit more there. Uh, so the soil calculator allows us to actually look at nutrient levels and everything works with and against something else in the soil. So it, it teaches us to kind of identify different areas where things may be interfering with one another. And so you're not getting the use efficiency you should have. Um, one example is uh, potassium. What, it's one of the product we've noticed out here that drastically could use some improvement on how and when we apply potassium. Um, it, it just tells us that because of something else in the soil, what you do have might not be working the way you'd want it to. Jamie, are there any specific products you're focusing on right now in the final few seconds we have here that you might mention? Yep, so right now this fall with soil testing, we wanna see a full soil test to be able to fully analyze what's going on. But we are uh, focused this fall on working on some of our alkali spots out here and using a, a combination of products to try and push those salts deeper into the soil that's causing them to stay on top, which again comes down to the what's actually going on in that soil, whether it's a high magnesium or a, a lack of calcium or something else going on in the soils. So we, uh, we have a few options to help drain those soils a little bit better. Jamie, it sounds like you've made that transition so quickly and you're up to speed there and ready to help producers. Thanks for visiting with us this weekend. Yeah, thank you, Max, you take care. Jamie Seedorf with Nutrient Ag Solutions, nutrientagsolutions.com.